So there's this idea of the standard normal. There's kind of infinitely many normal distributions with different means and different standard deviations, but the standard normal distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Um, and we often call this the Z distribution. Don't ask me why it's a Z. Uh, that's just the letter we've chosen. And so the standard normal Z follows a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one. And we can convert any normal distribution, so with any arbitrary mean and standard deviation, to a standard normal just by doing x minus mu over sigma. Basically, we just make a z-score. We do our x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And we can use this to answer questions by standardizing, moving from our data distribution to the standard normal, and then using facts that we might know about the standard normal. So let's see how this might work in StatKey. Let's think about uh, what percent of students are taller than 65 inches. So we can do this two ways. Um, one is to just look at StatKey uh, and use the normal 68.4 distribution. Let's try that first. So make it 68 and then 4, okay. Uh, and then I'm interested in um, the number that are taller than 65 inches, so that's going to be a right tail. I'm going to do a right tail, and then I'm going to change this endpoint to be 65. Okay, 77.3%, uh, and I'll take a screenshot. So uh, by using that distribution, we said 77.3%, uh, but then we could also make a z-score. Um, and what we're going to do, so remember a z-score is x minus mu over sigma. And in this case, x is that 65 inches that we're interested in. Mu is the mean, 68 inches. And sigma is the standard deviation, which is 4. So 65 minus 68 is negative 3 over 4, negative 0.75. So uh, it is 0.75 standard deviations below the mean on a standard normal. So let's go to stat key and try that out. Okay, so I'm gonna edit my parameters so that this is a standard normal, mean zero, standard deviation one, okay. And then I'm gonna do a right tail, but instead of putting in 65 inches, I'm gonna put in negative 0 0.75. Okay. And I get the exact same answer. So I'll put that into my notes too. All right, so we got the exact same answer, 77.3%. So you might be asking, uh, what difference does it make? It doesn't make a huge amount of difference, especially because you mostly get to use technology in this class. But oftentimes there are things that you can have kind of memorized about the standard normal um, that would be very hard, if not impossible, to memorize about all the infinite normal distributions out there. Um, so it can be easier to solve problems by translating them using z-scores and then using the standard normal. So just to summarize, if you have data that follows a normal distribution x following a normal distribution with mu sigma, just kind of a regular distribution, um, you could use a z-score to convert to uh, the standard normal z that follows normal 0, 1. And if you had z uh, normal 0, 1 and you wanted to be in uh, the data space, you could use this equation to convert back to the, the regular data space. Um, so there's kind of two equations here that you might want to have in your notes for moving in each direction. So let's do another example in StatKey. Um, and in this one, let's use uh, the standard normal to answer what's 
the 25th percentile for height. So in that case, I want to know what's the point at which 25% of the data is, uh, is smaller and, uh, and then I'm going to convert back into my data space. So let's go to stat key. I'm going to reset the plot because that'll just put it back to the normal 0, 1. Um, and I want a left tail so I can find the 25%. I don't want 2.5%, which is what's on here. I want 25%, 0 0.25, okay? So that would be uh, 0 0.674 standard deviations below the mean. So I'll stick a screenshot of that into my notes. So for a normal distribution, uh, negative 0 0.674 standard deviations is the 25th percentile for height. But that's not a height. Um, I want to know it in inches. And so I need to use the non-z-score equation. So not that one, but this one, the one that takes a z-score and makes it back into the data space. So I'm going to do x is equal to mu plus z sigma x is equal to mu plus z sigma. So let's see, what do I know? I know mu, that is the mean, which was 68 inches. And then I know z, that was the negative 0 0.674. And I know sigma, that was the four. So this is 68 minus 2.696, which is 65.304. So uh, 65.3 inches is the 25th percentile for height. And we use the normal distribution and then we converted back to figure that out. There are typically a bunch of questions about this material, about the normal distribution, so please bring your questions to synchronous class. I'm just going to leave you with one more thing to think about, um, which is data from the dating website OkCupid. So this is getting kind of old now, it's from 2010. Um, and what happened was the dating website looked at uh, the distribution of men's heights of male users on their website or people who identified as male. And then they compared that distribution to the known distribution of US men's heights. So we know that height is one of the few things that follow the normal distribution. And there's a known distribution of how men's heights in the United States are distributed. Um, and then they made this plot that I have on the slide. And what I'd like you to think about before synchronous class is what does this plot show? What's going on here? And then we can chat about that in class.